everyone, this is Shara from Shara's Fashion Nation, and I do want to address something before I get a call back plug in these ear go. Anyway, I want to address something, and again, it, it is going to be a serious video. Um, we've lost a good YouTuber, a good YouTube creator. And one that I have just finished my collaboration with. And that makes me very sad that we have lost Crochet and Me Too from YouTube. She's not dead. I promise you that. Um, we've lost her channel. Because of this uh, COPPA. Thanks a lot, Google. And the Trade Commission and you parents out there that don't parent correctly and know better that your children don't belong on regular YouTube or on your devices or you don't set their devices to parental control. That's not our fault. That's your fault. Oh, wait, isn't there this thing called YouTube Kids? Wait, let me look that up. Let me look that up. YouTube Kids. Yeah, see, there's this thing called YouTube Kids. You see, this is the kids section of YouTube. No, I don't have to log in to do that, to look it up. There is a YouTube kids section of YouTube. Figure this out. I believe, and this is not a conspiracy, believe they're trying to weed us out to see who are the strongest and who are the weak. I'm not leaving. Do whatever you want. I'm not leaving. Juliet, I say come on back, girl. Come on back, doll. They're trying to weed us out. We don't make any money because we're not making ad revenue. For them, what can they do? They're trying to weed us out. Think about that. Think about that. Think about these channels. Think about these channels, and and I have to give it to Real Police Talk. Um, I I really do. He he even said this. Think about these people that sit around and talk crap about the police on their YouTube channels, right? And they'll do these reviews on football games that, you know, they're recording, but you don't have consent by the NFL to be recording that for your, uh, for your channel. Um, in fact, the NFL has strict regulation that you have to go through the FCC in order to get permission. And uh, you have these scumbags that will do that and they'll make fun of a game. Okay, well, first of all, you're doing this and you're banking and because you're looking like a fool... And then people are poking fun at, you, fun at you. Meanwhile, other people out here 
are getting scared. I'm I'm not going to let this scare me. They're playing the numbers. They're wanting to see who's going to run. I'm not going to run scared. You know why I'm not going to run scared? Because you're not going to play this same old tired YouTube game of running the numbers like you did last year. I already have this figured out. Last year, when YouTube decided we're going to scare everybody with the numbers. If you don't have a certain number, we're going to shut your channel down. Boom. Everybody started rushing to everybody else's channel. Didn't matter if you liked those kinds of channels or not. You rushed each other's numbers. You got used to them. Some people stayed with you. Some people went away. I still have good people with my channel that actually stay. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I teach. I will educate you on this. But this is how I feel. This is my point to this. My point to this is. Do not let them scare you to the point. A bunch of people have started deleting their channels. All of a sudden, just boom, their channels are gone. But you haven't done anything wrong. But you haven't done anything wrong to violate anything under the Federal Trade Commission. That's right. You have not done anything wrong under the Federal Trade Commission. Now this is going to have to go globally. It's going to have to go global. And I think the real reason why YouTube is in trouble YouTube got in trouble in the first place. Okay, let's get this right. YouTube, Google slash YouTube, because we all know Google owns YouTube, got in trouble. And now they're trying to make their money back by blaming the creators. Still not our fault that Jimmy and Susie were given permission to use their parents' device to get on YouTube and watch YouTube, but not on restricted mode, if that makes any sense to you. I'm pretty sure it does. So, little Jimmy and little Susie had their per their parents' device. We're just, this is a scenario. Jimmy and Susie had their parents' device or had a device that wasn't set on restricted mode. But there's this thing called YouTube Kids. YouTube Kids. Now, Oh, oh, wait, what's that? What's that? YouTube isn't made for kids? Oh, well, then wait. What does YouTube have YouTube kids? Hmm. Hmm. That, my friends, is a darn good question, isn't it? If YouTube is not meant for kids, 
why is it they have YouTube kids? There's a loophole in there, and they're not wanting people to see it. They're trying to blind us all and scare us away. And it's not going to work because I'm going to open up your eyes so that you can see what's going on. Please wake up and see what they're doing. Don't go away. Don't run scared. Come back. Just come back. Do not run scared. Bring yourself back. I know we all get a little anxious. The Shar here is going to give you some tell all. YouTube Kids is for children. And there's different levels of YouTube Kids. Absolutely. Why was YouTube Kids created? Oh, good question. That was targeted towards children. Towards children. Not our channels. Our channels were not targeted for children. But YouTube Kids definitely was. Oh, dang. Dang. So little Jimmy, little Susie, need to have a little talk with their mummy and their daddy. If their daddy's around. Or even if their mummy's around, which I doubt. Um... And why aren't we watching YouTube Kids? <laughs> Sorry for that accent there. Because there's cartoons on there. There's educational materials on YouTube Kids. There's all sorts of educational materials on YouTube Kids. That children should be utilizing. The only reason that Google slash YouTube is coming at us or at the channels that actually make revenue is because they lost in a lawsuit, $100 million in a lawsuit. And now they will come at us to try to get their money back. Is that fair to us? No. You have YouTube kids. Um... Did they find these children's homes? Were they the ones going through these systems and finding out where these children? Yes, they are the ones that were targeting learning and collecting information for where these children were living. That was not us. They're the ones that were doing the dirt. Not us. They're the ones that were collecting people's personal identifiable information for credit cards, Bank statement information. They'll probably take down my channel after I tell you all this. And I won't care. Because I'm going to tell you. They were Googling where your house is. 
every single device around the world. I, I don't log into YouTube or I don't use Google on my phone. Thank you. Thank you. I do not use Google on my phone. I won't even use Google Maps on there. You have to sign in for that. No, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. Google is coming after us for something they shouldn't come at us for. They made a mistake. Google has been a part of a system that if I even told you that, the hat men would show up at the door. I'm not joking with that part. No, they would seriously show up at the door. Um, I, I, I'm really not joking um, with that part. So if I, if I told you certain things that I'm not allowed to say, people would show up at the door. Um, so I can't tell you that part. It's restricted information. Um, but the whole thing is, Google does not want you to know specific things about their dirty dirt. And now they're coming at us. And you notice how they do this right after Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson launched the conspiracy tally. You notice that? Right after Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson launched the conspiracy tally. I wish I had the money for that thing, please and thank you. I wish I had the money for that. But now people are running scared and shutting down their channels. Don't run scared. Let your kids watch YouTube Kids. Oh, Gone's Girl Denny did a Dollar Tree haul. I'll link her. I'll link her. And then I'll tell her that I linked her. That helps her out. There you go. I'll, I'll help somebody in the beauty community. Even though she don't speak to me. She don't even respond to my comments, but I'll link her anyway. See, that's the kind of person I am. I will help out a fellow YouTube creator. Even though that creator... I've always been nice to, I've always, always been nice to that creator. Won't speak to me. And I've won something from her before. See, I've actually won something from Denny. And I've gotten something from Michigander Man. Yep. But do not run scared just because people out there aren't doing their job and they don't want to take they just don't want to take their fault for their not doing their job. It's their fault. They're not doing their job. I'm just noticing my microphone is like right there. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, they're not doing their job and that's not our fault. If somebody's, like I said, if somebody's not setting something to parental control, that's not our fault.
if you're letting your kids play some violent video games and you're letting them play online with adults that may happen to be on YouTube. Now listen, I happen to know Starman is very, very strict. Diego will not play video games with children. Only people the age of 18 and older. How many of these children get on a device and lie? Think about that. I really want you to think about that. How many of these crafting channels, and now I'm part of that, are going to, like, you're going to have to label everything. I'm going to label everything. My stuff isn't for your kid. There you go. How about that? I feel sorry for Asa Clay. I really do. I feel sorry for Asa Clay. What's going to happen to um, to Clay? What's going to happen to him? He has an awesome channel. I don't want to see him go. He does really cool sculpting. And I would I would hate to see his channel go because some scumbags didn't bother to do their job. Okay, I don't want to see real police talk go because his channel is not for children. You know what's for children? YouTube Kids is for children. That's what's for children. YouTube Kids is for children. Oh, but wait, did the Federal Trade Commission forget to mention that part? Or were we only seeing a clip of what was said? Is this fake news? Did they do a fake news bit? Because let me find out that they did fake news and I'll, I'll just bolt back with the full, the full thing. Because I'm not going to put up with it. And I will tell you guys the full thing. I don't want the good people that have been trying to build their channels without paying without paying for extra viewers because you guys all know I don't have money to be putting out of my pocket to be paying for extra people they're real people you're just paying for their name to be on your channel as a viewer I don't have money like that must be nice but I'm not doing that. I know there's a lot of channels that do that. And I know I've mentioned Graveyard Girl. And she pays. How do you get that many people all of a sudden? Oh my god. 75% of her channel is paid viewers. Did that, did that hurt too bad? Um, yeah, 75% of her channel, she paid for those views. Those are the kind of people that gotta go. They got to go. If you're paying for your viewers, you got to go. If you're truthful people, 
that are struggling to make it and you're teaching and like somebody saying, oh, well, if yours is under education, that's targeted towards children. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. You could put that under education. And you could be educating adults. Education does not necessarily mean you're targeting children. And I'm not sorry to say that. I was watching another channel and they're like, well, if you put it under education, that means you're targeting children. No, no, no. It does not mean that you're necessarily targeting children. Adults love to learn education. On YouTube, there are GED program for adults on YouTube. It is listed under education. It is listed under education. So let me enlighten you on this. That is listed under education. Why? Because it's educational programming. I was looking up how to speak Cherokee. That's listed under educational programming. How to speak Ojibwe. Listed under educational programming. So I want to learn the other native languages. So like sitting in the doctor's office, they're pointing to everybody else except for me to like go to in for my appointment. And I'm like, what, you're going to skip over me? My appointment's at nine. They're like, huh? Uh, you're not with her? No. I came in by myself. Thank you. Don't even ask. Like, uh, I almost started speaking a Native American language in there just to like, people be like, huh? What'd she just say? Sorry, I had to sneeze the jeebles. See, I didn't curse. There was no language foul. I changed the word. I'm allergic to full bits. <laughs> oh, I would say that a different way, but I'm pretty sure you get my meaning. Anyway, guys, don't just run away. Do not forget there is this thing called YouTube Kids. I will do the research for you if you like. We'll do more research. Don't worry about it. Please don't run away. Juliet, I wanted to see your blanket. Oh, now I'm sad. Because I won't get to see the finished blanket. I wanted to see that. She did beautiful work, and now I'm sad. I won't get to see the blanket. You took your channel down. See, look what you did, Google. You made a good person go away. 
You're going to get your karma. You are going to get your karma. Trust me, I have to go get some water. I might even go make a second pot of coffee. I think a second pot of coffee day. I really think it is. I got the sniffles. I might make me some, some soup today. My homemade soup. I don't know. Depends on if the kitchen's open. Rachel Maskey says, another vintage closet purge. <laughs> she always does stuff like this. It's funny. I like her. Maybe I'll link her too. Yeah, why not? She's funny. I like her. Anyway, guys, just remember, just don't stress over this. Look, I have anxiety too. I may not act like I do, but I actually do. I just take a deep breath. I do do meditation. That sounded funny. I do do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do meditate. <laughs> okay, I'm still thinking on that. That was funny. I do do. I... I may have before I did this video, so you never know that. Um, I do meditate. <laughs> okay, anyway. Hey, that was funny. Um, and I try to keep myself very calm. And that's why, like, the crocheting, the knit, the sewing, the drawing, the painting... All of my creativity that I actually teach you guys, that's all a hobby. YouTube is my hobby. I don't want to get paid. I don't care. It's a hobby. A hobby. I don't really care. It's not like it's the end of my life. It's not the end of my life. YouTube doesn't control my life. I control my life. There you go. Remember that. You control. You. YouTube. Google slash YouTube does not control your life. You control your life. And Julia, I do remember you saying something about wanting to start a new channel. Maybe there was a purpose for you taking down that channel. Okay, that's a given. That is a given. Okay, but I am really sad that I didn't get to see the finished blanket. It's all right. It's all right. Um, it's all right. I'm sad, though. But it's okay. I'll get over it. I'll just soldier up. Um, because I know you did a beautiful job. I know you did. You always do a beautiful job. And I know you have more beautiful work. And you can educate people with this stuff. You can. I know you can do this. You're a good soul. Um, and, oh, I've never been a popular person, but it's come to me in life that I've become a strong speaker for other people for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I got tired of being picked on. And I said enough is enough. And I started standing up for myself. And then I started standing up for other people. And then, and then 14 years in Philadelphia, three years of that, being a block captain, working with the smaller 
Philadelphia government. You know, you learn, you learn things. You learn social speaking. You you learn how to get up and you know do things with other people. I mean, come on. I I even have like a background of taking gang members off the street and turning their life around and showing them how much better they can do without running the street. And 20% of them turn around and made their life choice not to run the street anymore. And their life is so much better. 20% is better than nothing or 1%. That's better than nothing. That's better than letting people die or go to prison. Let me tell you that. That is way better. That is way better. So I really want people to think about this. I have jabbered on long enough, so I am going to go now because... I think it's second pot of coffee day. <laughs> Only had like really like a hurried cup of coffee before I left for an appointment. Um, and then it wasn't even my doctor. It was some other doctor. And that doctor was like not even understand. I don't understand some of these doctors. Like they can't understand the ratio mass of muscle compared to fat mass. And, and I had to get literal with math, with quantum mathematics of quantum mass with this doctor. And the doctor was all stumped. Like, uh, I thought I was talking to somebody stupid. Don't assume that you're speaking to an idiot. Never assume that you're speaking to somebody stupid. Don't assume you're speaking to somebody stuck on stupid. I get leg cramps every night. Do you know what that does to my legs? That works them out. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's that? What's that? I, I, I have weight on me. What? Oh, what? Oh. Oh, why is this? I have seizures. And what do seizures do to the body? It works it out. Oh, so there's, there's what? Muscle mass, not fat. Well, cream cheese on a cracker, there you go. Ah, ah, ah. That's right. What's wrong with people? It's serious. And then she wanted to try to change my thyroid medication without consulting my doctor first. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't do that without consulting my doctor first. Nope. On a rope. Thank you. I stopped that medication from being filled. Until I talk to my doctor, thank you. But no thank you, sweetie. That medication's not going to be touched until I talk to my doctor. Because he knows what he's doing. Thank you. Oh, your thyroid's too active. Hyperthyroid means that your thyroid's working. 
Got it. And you're not supposed to eat an hour You know, you're not supposed to have food with your thyroid medication. It's not the other medications. You're not supposed to have food with your thyroid medication. Oh, snap. That's what that is. Anyway, guys, I really am going to go. been on here long enough. I hope this has enlightened your day. And I hope that this helps you know more about this COPPA thing that now people are running scared and deleting their channels. <sighs> Juliet, I know you said that, you know, you were thinking about starting a different channel. Well, maybe this is your chance. Come back fresh. Come back brand new. And it's still you. There you go. Because we love you here. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay positive. And as always, stay blessed. And I will keep you guys informed. Okay? See you later.